Mark Crane, how you doing? I'm doing marvelous. Happy to be here. That's good. Mark Crane, IBA number? 371. All right. How many rallies have you been in? Rallies or iron butt rallies? Iron butt rallies. This will be my fifth. So you like it? It's fun. Yeah. It's, it's, it's probably, it's my favorite hobby right now. I, I can't imagine not doing this, but this is my last one. Probably. Yeah, we'll see in two years. Right. Yeah. Why? Why do you like the IBR? I like the challenge of the ride. I like the challenge of trying to put together a competitive competitor. I, I like just all the challenges of it. I like the challenge of building the bike to be the best it can be. It's my my mount is always evolving because I enjoy doing that. Um, I love the camaraderie. I love the getting out and seeing the country. Um, literally, it's all aspects of it. They all tie together. The competitiveness of it. Yeah. So you talked about. We were just talking about that. The competitiveness and how there's kind of two different classes of riders. The super competitive ones that are really in, in it to win and the ones who like rallying for lots of other reasons but probably aren't in it to win it you're one of the competitors right what, what drives that i've just always been com competitive i like to i like that clean competition that's what i one of the things i love about this is that everybody is pretty honest is honest about it and it's good honest competition i really I really like that. I like that pitting myself. You're pitting yourself against yourself in a lot of ways. Right. And I really like that. Yeah. I like that challenge. You've done this so many times. Does it ever get old? Do you ever say, why am I doing this again? I have never done that in the rally. I'll do that when it's prep time, when it's time to pay bills on it. But when I'm when it, when it's time to do it, it doesn't. There's no doubt. Yeah. I don't. That's one of the things I love about. It. There's just no doubt. I'm I'm doing this, and yeah, it's going to be interesting in two years. Yeah. Well, it takes it takes a lot of mental strength. You've done this for so many times. You've been able to go through the lows. What What right. are some of your worst ones, and what do you think? How are you going to screw it up this time, Mark? Well, you know, you try not to think about that. You try not to think about, so what's going to go wrong this time? What am I going to do wrong this time? It has to be focused on what I'm going to do, what I can do. But lows, yeah, um, snatching a DNF from the jaws of second or third in 2011 for just an uh, uh, incredibly simple mistake. That's the thing about it. You have to be precise. And that's one of the things I like about this is that we're need to be precise um, mechanical issues in 2013 and then and then just botching up leg two even though leg two is one of the most enjoyable legs of rallying I've ever done um, it's still it was pretty tough to lose over 50% of my points at the scoring table oh that hurts yeah. but you've had some highs too so what are your tell us about some of your favorite when you just were on top of the world well I mean Riding, you know, physically completing the ride in two, second leg in 2013. Even though I didn't get scored and I, I didn't do it on paper, physically I did it. And and that was, it was, it, even now it's still great. Um, riding through adversity la in, in 15 when I had the eye infection and, and, and finishing the rally when that was kind of in doubt. Um, so the adversity made the success that much sweeter, right? And the, the fun, th one of the things, one of the things that's always a high, is getting to see and do things that, if it wasn't for the rally, I would never get to see and do. Riding down the Mississippi River Delta through Arkansas and seeing abject poverty in the sharecropper villages there seeing towns that are going to be ghost towns in 10 years because we're going to corporate farming and small small family farms are going away. Um, 
going down roads that at times of the day that I'd never go down them. I mean, that's not just in the armbar rally. I mean, Cal 24. <laughs> when, I, when I told my dad about riding Highway 94 from from Wairika to Arcata at night, he says, you did what? Because he's from there. And it yeah. was inconceivable that I'd ride a motorcycle down that at night. Or or lighting up my VFR in the middle of Ferndale at 1.30 in the morning. Well, I wish I'd been there for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have been good. That was a good one. So what's your what's your fantasy dream for this rally? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a dumb question. I don't think you want to do that. I'd like to think it's not a fantasy and it's not a dream. <laughs> but the goal the goal is the goal is it's always yeah. in the first place. I know you can do it, man. I've seen you rally. I know what you can do. And uh, I hope you do it. Thank you. We'll be working.